Today we're going to be doing a little uh, proof of concept experiment. I'm going to be trying to uh, can some chicken with my with the electricity from my solar generator. Uh, rather than running the stove, I'm just going to be trying to can the chicken in a pressure canner with a hot plate, a uh, thousand watt hot plate. So here's my solar setup. Uh, it has been raining today. It rains almost every day in the summer in Florida. So you got to just uh, sneak it in when you can. Uh, I might lose a little more power than what I'm actually able to generate with these six panels, but uh, it, it's it's going to help offset to the power that I'm using while while I'm canning. So I've got six 100 watt panels right here. These are all running into my charge controller, which is charging four 350 amp hour. Uh, batteries that I've got ran uh, to create a 12 volt system going into my inverter which is 1500 watts so I'm running a thousand watt hot plate off of this so it, it shouldn't be any kind of a problem so we're gonna fire it up and see how we do All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Uh, I've got my pressure canner right here. I've got it on my 1,000 watt hot plate. One of the reasons I wanted to try this is that in a grid down scenario, you might be able to catch game. You might be raising cattle or uh, rabbits or whatever, and you might be able to slaughter and have more meat than you're actually able to consume at one time. So it would be nice to be able to still can food after the, the grid goes dark. So we're gonna try this out. I'm doing chicken today. Uh, I've got three cans already in here. And uh, you could get up to seven quarts in, in this large Presto pressure canner. And of course, if you're doing meat, you always have to use a pressure canner. Uh, I've just got nothing in here except the, the meat. I put, a, I put a teaspoon of salt in each jar. And I put a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, a little parsley in there as well just to give it a little bit of flavor. And what I will do with this chicken is when I take it out, I'll either make chicken salad with it or chicken pot pie or chicken and rice, something like that. It's probably gonna cook out some nice broth, which will be really good for the rice as well. So uh, here we go, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna put this in, uh, lock down the lid. my weight on fire it up of course if you're doing this you're going to want to make sure that you've got enough extension cord to go all the way from wherever your your setup happens to be to the area that you want to cook with so uh, we'll be back and we'll we'll check in in a few minutes and see how the pressure's doing on the pressure canner All right, so it took almost an hour for us to start building pressure, but now we're building pressure in the pressure canner. We're up to almost five pounds right now, if you can see on the dial, and we're gonna build that up to 11 pounds, and then we're gonna have to maintain the, the pressure at 11 pounds for about 75 minutes, which uh, that's typically what you want for pints of meat. If you're doing uh, quartz, you typically want to do it for uh, 90 minutes. So um, in a post-collapse scenario, could you do quartz for 75 minutes? Probably so. Um, that's actually what I'm going to be doing today just uh, to, to sort of check it out and, and see how it does. Um, as we start getting closer to 11 pounds, I'll start turning the temperature dial down on the hot plate uh, I've still got it on high when I start getting around seven or eight pounds of pressure I'll start peeling that back to medium uh, obviously with the hot plate it took a lot longer to get pressure to start building than it would on a regular stove so uh, uh, like I said this is sort of an experiment so we're gonna see how we do And I just stepped outside to see how my inverter was doing and it's really really acting up It's still it's still pumping juice out. It's still got uh, it's still got a good charge coming in But uh, it really shouldn't be acting like this. So uh, 
I don't really want to depend on this, so I'm going to be switching this out for a Krager. So I would probably recommend that everybody stay away from the Cobra inverters because this thing's brand new. I've barely used it, and as you can see, it's working, but it's making all kind of racket, and the display is very distorted. I've tried turning it on and back off and on, and it's not doing anything to help. So uh, I'm probably not going to be going with any more Cobra products. So uh, I'll keep you updated, and we'll see how the experiment progresses. All right, so we've been cooking at about 11 pounds for 75 minutes, so we're just going to cut it off and leave it there. And uh, once the pressure drops back down to zero, we can open that up and take out our chicken, and it'll be uh, ready to store or eat or whatever we want to do with it. And it should store pretty much indefinitely as long as it's, it's kept in a, a decent environment. So um, hope you enjoyed the video, and... Try it out yourself. God bless and happy prepping. Okay, so this is a quick addendum to our solar canning video. Uh, we did prove our concept. We were able to can our chicken in the pressure canner using a hot plate, running off an extension cord from our solar generator. Um, if you look right up there now, the reader on the inverter is showing 12.3 volts available. So when this system is completely fully charged, that's typically going to read somewhere around uh, 12.9 to 13.1. So, and if it's completely drained out, it'll be somewhere around uh, between 11.9 and 12.1. So that means we've probably used about two thirds to three quarters of our charge. So we used a lot of energy just to. Uh, can that one batch of chicken so um, if it had been a little bit sunnier we probably would have been able to uh, collect a little bit more energy through our solar panels today but since it's cloudy uh, the system wasn't recharging as rapidly as it could have in a, on a sunnier day so um, one of the things you could probably do to conserve power is to preheat your water and preheat your chicken um, with a sun oven or a solar cooker and uh, that would reduce the the time that you have to have to get your pressure cooker up to pressure and up to cook time so there's different things you can do but we did prove our concept today and i'm happy with that so god bless and happy prepping